but a few of those clouds have been present even across our western and central areas. Mostly the feathery upper clouds as high pressure really suppresses any other form of cloud formation. Plus, there's just not a lot of moisture to go around, so we're not going to see a huge amount of cloudiness for the evening, but the forecast and focus does put into account the possibility of those high thin clouds that will streak through occasionally during the overnight hours, and maybe that can blend in and filter out the sunshine at times for your Wednesday, but the overall change is going to be very subtle. Aside from those patchy clouds you might see in the sky, we'll have more of an east or southeast wind pattern, at least temporarily, but that will help in pushing temperatures up a little bit above what we had today. So a little better opportunity to reach those 70s. Not everybody gets there, but at least there will be a little more solid mildness for many areas after another chilly start. And we'll still have a fair amount of sunshine to go around, just maybe not perfectly sunny like many of us have seen last couple of days. But those forecast lows across the region back into the upper and mid 30s. I think outlying spots, perhaps eastern areas like Live Oak, Swanee River, you can see those upper 30s that can support some frost. If you're right at the coast, you will be warmer. And if clouds start to interfere with the cooling trend, you may be limited to just the upper 30s or around 40 in areas of the Flint Valley, like in Newton or Camilla. For your highs tomorrow, most everybody getting well into the 60s, and some of us will be crossing that 70 threshold in the tri-state area and perhaps our eastern zones as well in the Big Bend area. So these temperatures near average as we kick off December tomorrow, and it looks like a little warm patch may be heading our way, which we'll show you in your extended first alert forecast. But for boaters tomorrow, east to southeast winds, up to 10 to 12 knots or so with seas light one foot or less through tonight and tomorrow. And that warmer trend I just mentioned, well, that could get us into the mid 70s for the close of this week and even into the weekend. Morning lows will also climb closer to 50. Those are above average readings. A minor front may try to move in, drop temperatures just a smidge, and then maybe depositing a little bit of rain across our area early next week with yet another system.